Uh, our starting point is a question. Do you want prosperity in Africa or not? We ask a question. If you say you do, then the question is how? How will it be achieved? How, how will prosperity be achieved? Can it be achieved by, by begging Europeans? Uh, now, our answer is that if begging was a solution, Africa should now be rich. Because they, are, they have been begging for the last uh, 70 years almost. But begging has not worked. And that's why you find crisis everywhere. Crisis in Africa, in, 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 in Mali, in Niger, in Burkina Faso, in, uh, everywhere, even in Kenya now, there are a lot of problems. Prosperity will come from wealth creation. That's why you hear His Highness here talking of the money we are sending to the villages to, to deal with wealth creation of every homestead. We say every homestead must be involved in wealth creation, producing a good or a service and selling it. Now, if you say that's the way to get prosperity, then the next question is the who will buy what you produce? The buyer, the market. Now, our analysis, like me, I am from the, the tribes of keeping cows. I'm a, a cattle keeper. So, you find that Uganda is the one which helps my tribe to be prosperous because they buy, they buy what my tribe don't buy because we have the same product. I don't know the situation in other African areas. You can analyze it. That means that we tell our people, please, you people, the tribe is important but love Uganda. Why? Because you need it. You need it for your own prosperity. If you want prosperity, please don't forget Uganda. You can have your tribe, but Uganda is the one which will help you to be prosperous more easily. Love Uganda, love Africa. Social economic transformation. Our people must change, must become modern. They can't continue being uh, the way they were before. We are deeply grateful for your leadership and a commitment to investing in our region's development. Your Excellency, the Namagumba Budadi Nalugugu Road, you have been singing about it. This construction is a testament to our government's dedication to connecting our communities and fostering inclusive growth. We are proud of your efforts and a pledge to support this project as a cultural institution to, to its successful completion. I also want to express my deepest appreciation to the government of Uganda for providing the necessary logistics, including transportation and security, to ensure that the comfort and safety of our visiting royal majesty was, 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 was secured. This support was invaluable, and we are grateful for the excellent arrangements made. Your Excellency, the success of Imbalu Culture Festival launch was largely due to the collaboration and support we received from government and particularly from you, Your Excellency. Uganda has emerged as a beacon of hope and unity in Africa. Embodying the spirit of reliance, progress and solidarity. Pan-Africanism and the legacy of President Museveni. Your Excellency, your commitment to Pan-Africanism is not just a political stance, but a deeply held belief that has shaped your leadership and vision for our country. <coughs> you have consistently championed the cause of African unity independence and self-reliance, emphasizing 
the importance of solidarity among African nations. Your efforts have been instrumental in fostering the sense of collective identity and the purpose identity and purpose among Africans, transcending borders and ethnicities. The African Union and the Young Guardians and influence has seen significant strides toward integration and cooperation. Your unwavering support for regional initiatives such as the East African Community and the Intergovernmental Authority on Development has strengthened economic ties and enhanced peace and security in the region. You have shown that kinship and other traditional structures and other traditional structures are not just relics of the past, but vital partners in fostering social cohesion. Mm. Promoting culture, pride, and driving local development initiatives. This inclusive approach has strengthened the fabric of our society and reinforced the importance of our shared culture identity. It is therefore with great honor that I convey the heartfelt desire of the Forum of Kings, Queens, Sultans, Sheikhs, Princes, and traditional leaders of Africa to make you, Your Excellency, the, the life patron of our esteemed Forum. Yeah, yeah.